Hey, I'm Steve Lacey. We're here in my New York City art studio, and today we're going to make a 1986-1987 Fleer Michael Jordan rookie card. Now everything I do starts on Photoshop. I begin by taking a high-res image of the card and converting it into color layers. Now sports cards are what's known as CMYK prints. By breaking an image into four colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, and then further breaking each color layer into a dot pattern, you can recreate a photo with remarkable detail. Now this process is extremely time-consuming and labor-intensive. It begins by creating a Photoshop document the size of the finished piece to create what's known as color separations. This just means breaking the image into separate layers, which are then individually exposed onto a screen coated in a light sensitive photo emulsion. Each layer is then printed onto a transparency, which is the actual size of the finished case, in this case 30 by 40, and then burned onto the screen. After exposing them with high intensity light, any part of the screen that was hit with light will stay on the screen. Any part that was hidden from the light by the black ink on the transparency will wash off. Once exposed, you wash away the details, revealing the image, and then you let the screen dry. After it's dry, it's then finally ready to push paint through. From there, it's all about methodical execution. Each layer has to be carefully lined up and placed directly onto the canvas. As you move through each layer, the details start to come into focus. By the time the last layer, which is black, goes on, you can really see the details pop. When complete, when you look closely, it essentially consists of lots of circles of different colors, which is what's known as a rosette pattern. Each dot color layer is laid down at different angles so they don't overlap in what's known as a moire. Under close inspection, each of my pieces consists of millions of tiny dots, all creating the illusion of a photo. Making sports cards the way they were originally printed in the first place is the key to how I'm able to make such realistic sports card art. Beat it.